Don't do that. Don't eat that. That's it. <laughs> it's been in your hands. That's gross. It's not the only place it's been. Mmm, baby. <laughs> Idiots, I'm Corbin. And I'm an idiot. That's true. Uh, please follow us on Instagram, Instagram and Twitter, Twitter for lots of juicy content. It's so uh, juicy. I've done that once before where my Instagram and Twitter sounded like Sean Connery for a split second. I found the cure for cancer and I've lost it. Anyway, where were you telling them to go? Oh, on Patreon, right? Yeah, uh, thank you for supposed on Patreon. As always, you're fantastic. Yes, you we are. We love you. You know what you haven't done in a while? What? You yeah, haven't rung that bell. <laughs> See that? And yeah, you know what else? Before we jump into this, what? Where's Ashley and Alexis? Not here. They're out of town. They haven't been here in a while. You know, you guys would notice that at some point, but they're out of town this week, so there you go. Um, and today we're reacting to another film of uh, this girl's. Uh, oh! Kurt Train, you want to say your name for me? Yes, Carolina Goswami, who did the thing yeah, uh, you that brainwashed. she loves India. The brainwashed India thing. So we learned more about her, and you all uh, said she actually does do good content. Um, she's actually married to an Indian, and yep. she's uh, our, her big thing is now um, uh, getting information out there about India. Right. Uh, Educating uh, people. You know, more power to you. So she also Sister has a really relaxing voice but this one is called india the future superpower okay it's reclaimed it is reclaiming um so uh it should be good hopefully uh and it's 11 minutes so strap in get some chai in the year of nine hundred forty seven, the british decided to leave india but just before they packed their bags they had they made India bleed even more by pushing it into a deadly civil war. Who would have thought at that time that just in a few decades, Indian companies would be buying and taking over the companies like Jaguar, Range Rover, or the famous tea brand that we know as Stepley? I didn't know that. Who would have imagined that an Indian brand Tata would buy a steel company, Coros, and provide jobs to the British in their own land. But, but without, without making, making it a, a colony. Actually, I will not be very surprised if this video will shock the international community a bit. When you hear the word India, the images that come to your mind are something like this. When the media in your country talks about India, they show you That's clips right. like this. That's exactly right. But what they are not showing you, and what they are actually hiding from you, is that India also looks like this. Yes. Who could have thought a few decades earlier that the British government would be panicking and calling a special session of parliament when an Indian company Tata would decide to sell their brand colors? which would be making thousands of British jobless. Who could have thought that in just a few decades after the independence from the British, an Indian company, Tata, would actually become the biggest private sector employer of the UK? It took just a few decades for the Indians to show what they were capable of, and all of this was done in a complete fair business environment, not by colonizing, looting and killing as the British did. And I am not talking about just one Indian brand. Today, there are many brands and individuals from India who are creating huge business empires on the land of the UK. But Indians are not here to take any revenge or I was literally just thinking that. They are just doing what they have been always good at. And that is not just yoga or IT. <laughs> Indians, who are the masters of spirituality, are also masters they in like business. They like to be masters in anything they pursue. Indian economy has finally gained momentum. And mind you, it has not got to the fifth gear yet. <laughs> Probably it is still in the second gear. But what is surprising, that even in the second gear, it has already become the fastest growing major economy in the world already taking over China in that regard. 
and India still has so much of unutilized potential which is lying in its reserves. Now let's talk about the major industries of India. Mangoes. IT sector. <laughs> India is the world's largest sourcing destination for the information technology industry, accounting for approximately 67% of the 124 huh, to 130 billion US dollars market. Like India ranks third among global startup ecosystems with more than 4,200 startups. Science and technology. India, a country which is a nuclear power, also ranks third among the most attractive investment destinations for technology transactions in the world. Mm. The Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, has completed its mission of developing India's independent navigation system by launching Indian Regional so Navigation like Satellite System, which means yeah, India has its then. own version of what in the West we know as GPS. India is constantly helping other countries like Singapore, Germany, UK, and many more to launch their satellites as well. It has successfully undertaken space mission to Moon and even Mars. Dang. Pharmaceuticals sector. The Indian pharmaceuticals market is the third largest in the world in terms of volume. And India is the largest provider of generic drugs. Gems and jewelry sector. India is one of the largest exporters of gems and jewelry in the world. They are a hub of semi-precious and precious stones. How many of you actually knew that 95% of diamonds in the world are cut, polished and processed in India? Seriously? And most of it happens in just one city of India that is called Surat. Surat. Healthcare sector. India is fast becoming a hub of medical tourism of both types of healthcare, modern medicine and natural, yeah, no, which sick. includes Ayurveda and other natural treatments. It has the advantage of the new state-of-art hospitals and well-trained and high-skilled professionals, which is supplemented by its low cost. I like watching surgery. The cost of surgery in yeah, India is about one-tenth of what in the US I or Western that. Europe. <laughs> yeah. India is a top destination for you, okay. whether yeah. it's about natural treatments, a yeah. heart yeah. surgery, a cosmetic surgery, or a dental treatment, which your country's natural insurance may not be covering. <laughs> That's funny. Real estate sector. Jab there. India is building future cities of the world. That's the cool. massive plan of building 100 smart cities. To give you an example, over 5 million homes are under true? construction just in the national capital That's region cool. of India. That's very cool. Smart cities. A majority like of people smartphone, in India still TV. live in villages. And India is preparing itself for the biggest migration of its people from villages to the cities. Hmm. At a scale which the mankind has probably never seen before. Okay, Infrastructure yeah. sector. Right. India is growing its infrastructure at an unbelievable speed. And did you know that its capital already has around 250 kilometers of modern metro rail? Unlike LA. And it's going to add a few hundreds more, which is going to make it the biggest in the world, close to Shanghai. Almost all its major cities are seeing the rapid development of That's metro. All. Not in and LA. the construction no. of bullet trains connecting the major <laughs> cities are underway too. Not just that, India is developing infrastructure in the other parts of the world and growing its influence by making ports and developing other mega infrastructure outside India too. Automobile sector. Automobile. Apart Automobile. from all the international companies which are lining up to make the most of India's automobile market, which is literally exploding, India's own brands are not far behind. From the premium brands of Jaguar on Range Rover to the cheapest car Tata Nano, India has it all. You will be surprised to know that day. India has a no, long list of its own automobile brands like Mahindra, Hero, TVS, Ashok Brandman, Bajaj, Force yeah. Motors, Iker, just to name a few. 
Hero is the world's largest manufacturer of two-wheelers. Mahindra are another big name who are very close to the acquisition of Alfa Romeo a while ago. In India, it's Agriculture bad. sector. I forget. India <laughs> is the largest producer, consumer and exporter of spices that and spice that's products. Not it is also the source of the delicious spices and famous basmati rice that is known for its taste and fragrance around the world. We don't have mangoes here. The good news is that the northeast part of India has its agriculture based on the traditional organic farming, awesome. which has been untouched by the failed scientific experiments of fertilizers and genetic seed modification. How many of you actually knew that India, which is nearly half in area of China, and the US actually has more arable land than China and is second largest in the world, only marginally behind the US. Also, other sectors of India are worth a mention here, such as cement industry, well, which is the second largest in the world. Everything. Also, India is growing rapidly in biotechnology, aviation, banking and insurance, film industry, media and entertainment, and many more. Growing in film industry? It is also a growing? big exporter of leaving? textiles, <laughs> which includes finest silk, pashmina, leather, and marble. Besides, how many of you actually knew that some of the top brands in the world are either Indian nationals or of Indian origin? That's not surprising. Sundar Pichai. An Indian <laughs> like who has hell. studied in the Indian Institute of Technology is now the CEO of Google. Satya Nadella, who is the CEO of Microsoft, is a graduate from Manipal Institute of Technology in India. The CEO of Adobe Systems is also an Indian and his name is Shantanu Narayan. And these are just a few names. There is a long list of global CEOs from India. So no matter where you are in the world, whatever country you may belong to, whether you are a young boy or a girl, in a primary school or a college, you must know that sooner or later you will have to have something to do with India. And it is inevitable because India is fast establishing itself as a top three economy of the world and its true potential is even bigger than that. I love her love for India. So it's better that you start educating yourself <laughs> about the rise of like the economic power powerhouse that, that we know as India. India. Because your future like belongs her here too. Stern. And as I have said earlier, India is not just developing, India is reclaiming. Damn. See you again. Really, I love how the, the, the just to your face. You better. <laughs> That's right. You you, you, you better, better understand reality because India is coming, bitch. India. <laughs> if you ignore India, India will crush you. That's true. That's and true. And it will be your own fault for having been so stupid. Yeah, I love her. She's I do too. she's fantastic. One, her voice is fantastic, but then you can also tell her passion. Yeah. For uh, it's one of the weirdest India. combinations of somebody whose voice doesn't seem to express something in a passionate way, mm -hmm. but it's undeniable that she genuinely cares and wants everybody to know. Yeah. Uh, and a lot of this stuff was a, a, a lot of information I didn't know, um, so that's good, but then also stuff that's just not surprising uh, in the slightest. Not yet, yeah, none of it would surprise me. Yeah, the fact that, you know, India is leading the way in so many industries. And you know, she is right. We took exception to the fact that she said the film and entertainment industry is a growing thing. Mm -hmm. So here's the reality of that. They're the leader. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're the leaders. So just, just Indian well, film. It, it, it depends on what you're talking about. Exactly. Uh, the difference is, when it comes to just numbers mm -hmm. and money and output, they yeah. produce more films, their films make more money, um, they're seen by more people. However, it doesn't spread around the world. Yeah, it's, it's strictly Indian. It doesn't have an international yeah. influence the way it should. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then that way it's gotta grow because there's way too many things that are we've seen just in terms in of five months. in terms of storytelling. Yeah, and stuff like that. Yes, I agree. There's a lot more out there, and uh, obviously acting wise, there's yeah, a ton actors. of actors. Uh, the, the world should know these. The one actors. industry, the one part of it that is still behind is, I believe, the uh, special Te effects. technical effects, uh, which makes sense just because of how much money Hollywood throws 
at it, it's hard yeah. to compete with that. And the, and the challenge that they're gonna have, for, unless they ever change it, is that they still have to deal with the fact, because for the rest of the international community, they're accustomed to our runtimes and the pacing of our films. Mm -hmm. We've grown accustomed to Indian films that are paced for intermission. Mm -hmm. But people who aren't accustomed to that don't have the stomach, unless it's an Avenger film, Americans don't have the stomach to sit through a three hour movie. No. They just don't. Hour and a half, two hours tops usually. Which is why I think we've seen an increase in these films that have two hour run times. Yep. And even with the two hour run times, they still have to build in an intermission, which changes the way the writing and the directing pace the film. Yep. So they still have a lot, that's a challenge, yeah, I don't know how they overcome In terms that. of all the industries, it's not surprising, uh, especially the tech companies, uh, Indians are so smart. Very smart. And, and they place high importance on education. Yes, and, on the, 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 and it's a double-edged sword because they have this incredible passion for excellence and to be uh, the best, right? Mm. But the other end of the spectrum of that is if you aren't that and you don't achieve, like we've seen our first introduction was in Three Idiots, if you don't get the grades, mm -hmm. if you don't get the acceptance at the school, then everything for many is your entire identity as an Indian can be crushed. Yep. And you can be treated that way by the people closest to you. So it's, but, but the, the, it is no surprise mm -hmm. to find so much excellence coming out of this passionate, loving, desirous, over the top, beautiful culture. Uh, just yeah, not good. a surprise at all. Let us know what other of her videos we should, uh, we should watch and react to. We like her. Yeah. Um, and I know she's done a bunch. So let yeah. us know.